a match that was a little bit tighter than maybe the score revealed. Yeah. What was the turning point in running off the final six games there? Well, she got up three love in the second, and I, you know, I didn't get off to a quick start, and I thought, okay, if I don't watch out, I could be in the third set, and that's okay and all, but I wanted to not be in the third set, so I knew I could take my game to a next level and see what happens if I did that. According to our match stats, you hit the second fastest serve in the history of the women's game what in that match. First? Well, yeah, I think you know who hit the oh, first one. my sister. <laughs> as long as it's her, I'm okay. I love her. The <laughs> weapon that that serve has become and the pace with yeah. which you hit it, what pressure do you think that puts on an opponent on the other end? And what, a, what an asset is it for you to have to know it's in that bag? It's a great asset. Like, I mean, I'm loving it. I don't know what's wrong or what's happened. I'm, you know, I'm glad that I'm serving good this week yeah. or this whole month, really. Um, it's good because I can be down break point or I can be, you know, in a tight squeeze or I can be in doubles and it really helps out. So I love it. First match, ankle. Second match, you had the mishap hitting yeah. yourself in the mouth. Third match, no drama. No drama. What, what do you take away from this performance heading into the second week? Um, it's a good performance for me. I definitely feel like I hit a lot of rallies today, and yeah. I wanted to test yeah. my cardio, and I was totally fine, so that was awesome, and I feel good. I feel like I'm ready for the second week where the matches will be even better, and I have nothing to lose, so I look forward to it. Thanks very much, Serena. We appreciate the time. Well Thank done. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey, Danny. Serena Williams, let's look ahead to the second week, and it's Maria Karolinko, a winner today over Yanina Wickmeyer, 7-6-6-3. Serena's played Karolinko five times. She's won every single match. So we look a bit more into Serena's, I mean, she certainly does crack the first serve. That's undisputed. But her second serve today, Pam mentioned it, and it was a statistic we were looking at here. Marita was able to exploit it a bit. Serena only winning 31% of her points. How'd she do it? Well, I think other players hopefully watch the match because Marita, with two hands on both sides, stood very close to the baseline or a couple feet inside the baseline and didn't let the kick serve play her. She took it early. She attacked it. I think the, Serena was surprised at how quickly the mm. ball was coming back and wasn't reacting fast enough. Remember, Serena doesn't only have the best first serve in, in tennis. She has one of the best second serves. So for somebody to be able to exploit that as a weakness all of a sudden, maybe that gives the other players a little bit of hope. No, I agree with that, and I think Marita only really played that one bad game when she was leading 4-2 in the second mm -hmm. set, and she, she fought hard, and she's a very good player and somebody who's maturing as well, but I think Serena will be happy to get that one in the books and move on, and she will have a test against Kirilenko, and I'm really looking forward to the Sloane-Stevens-Laura Robson <laughs> match. I think that's going to give us a bit of a glimpse into the future of women's tennis.